you, if you, so, so someone was so happy about Internet Explorer today being the last day for Internet Explorer that they have started a Kickstarter. What is um, this? Yes. And for $30, you can get a t shirt um, and the, uh, I think that's, yeah, for $30, you get the t shirt. Um, for 35, you get a poster. Um, for 64, you get some limited edition posters. Um, but pretty much it's kind of a farewell web address um, signed everyone ever. Um, and it okay. talks about, um, uh, what does it say? Today, the cries of mankind are answered. The online connectivity of the world will begin a long awaited transformative path towards an internet free of unnecessary convolution, free of evil, tyrannical cross browser incompatibility, free of Internet Explorer. Um, so, yes, today Microsoft deprecated. Um, multiple Internet Explorer versions, leaving only IE 11 and their Edge browser, which seems and sounds like it's a lot more compliant with current day standards. There's still like a Internet Explorer 11, right? Am I not? Am I mistaken? Yes. Okay. But I think when they when they went to Internet Explorer 11, they dropped a lot of the hey, go use Silverlight, and hey, go use all of our stuff that's... Mm. Go use ASP um, plugins, and they, they, they killed off a lot of their... This runs best on Internet Explorer 5.5 type stuff. Mm. ActiveX is gone. Um, so all those additional controls, plugins, etc., that would only work on Internet Explorer... Um, are now gone, and it's pretty much you have to be HTML5, CSS, et cetera, compliant. Interesting. Well, I, 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 such a great celebration of the Internet Explorer. <laughs> I'm been. sure it's not as big of a deal for us because I think we probably primarily use We've moved on browsers and like Firefox and Chrome. But convinced for, everybody for around us. That we're... we're tied to internet explorer for some various reason you're mm-hmm. you're going to be forced to move quickly um on the, it was it's on, gone on the awesome cast um um group on facebook we uh, when the first internet explorer uh, uh dying off story hit or i think late last week uh we were sharing horror stories about clients where sites weren't working because they were on an older version of internet explorer <laughs> And mm-hmm. having to explain that when you're like, you know, it, and we had uh, several different cases of that uh, that people were sharing on there. So that was that was a lot of fun to tell those horror stories about those. Things. Mm-hmm. So I think at work we were stuck for the longest time on Internet Explorer 7 mm-hmm. because we had a couple active X controls that were oh. written oh. for internal use. So certain so you could do certain nifty things, but they required internet explorer seven or earlier mm-hmm. um and then our home page went full html5 css compliant which guess what wasn't in ie7 yeah pretty much any current day standard <laughs> um so we actually had to deploy an alternate browser to every workstation one for if you wanted to use these five sites and one for everything else <laughs> <laughs> wow this is, this is the kind of stuff people dance around with this, these standards mm-hmm. as they come and go it's 